Fisher Bros Gaming Podcast. What's up, guys? We're what? at the uh, the side of my <laughs> the Peace and Justice Theater. Peace and Justice Theater, I, Gaming for Good. We're about to go watch the conference right now. Yeah. We're yeah, gonna go yeah. watch it, and then we're gonna tell you guys all what's about. So uh, maybe, we'll some maybe questions. just film me in there too. Yeah. Over, yeah. So, so yeah, we'll see you guys in a second. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we just got out. Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, theater, theater, kind of like a TED Talks. Yeah, of yeah it was games. a little different. It was pretty cool. Uh, gaming for Peace. Um, yeah, we'll tell you guys about it when we get back to the studio. So, <gasps> let's go. See you back there. All right, guys. So we just got back from USD. Yeah, Peace and Justice Theater. Um, we're gonna go watch a uh, lecture by uh, Mr. Ossie Burke. Burke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he makes games to bring light to social justices. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, um, yeah. so he's, he's making very informative games uh, that are more about like educating people. Um, on different, you know, topics. Um, yeah, and, and the actual thing was, was called gaming for peace. Yes. Uh, and one of the and uh, one of the things that he mentioned was in college when he was in college, he made a, a game called it was, it was called Fight for Peace. Fight for Peace. Yeah. Um, it was about settling the uh, the problems with, between uh, Israel, Israel and, and Pakistan. And Palestine, and yeah. yeah. And so you, should we show the clip? You guys want to see the clip? Here's the clip in the video. Yeah. Peacemaker is a game in which you take the role of one of the leaders. You can take either the role of the Israeli Prime Minister or the Palestinian President. You can play both perspectives. And the idea is that as the leader, you have to react to real-time events happening in the world. You can negotiate with other leaders, but you also have security or military actions that you can take. And by doing so, you have to reach a peaceful solution while in office. In an Israeli high school, a new computer game called Peacemaker was launched today. Children playing the role of Israeli and Palestinian leaders trying to make peace in a virtual world of suicide bombings and Israeli military strikes. We don't expect to address all issues of the conflict. We don't expect to give all the answers. We're bringing up issues for discussion. I think the best aspect of playing this game is that especially if you're Palestinian student in the territories or an Israeli student within Israel, you you get a chance to really feel what both sides are thinking and get a better sense of what they can do together to work towards peace. If you look at the video game industry today, there are so many games out there about violence, about war, about destructions. We say a simple thing, there is certainly a place for one little game about peace. Yeah, so pretty, pretty graphic game there. I mean, yeah, pretty, pretty interesting game. Uh, uh, the lecture was pretty different. <laughs> the lecture was interesting. So that, the lecture was very interesting. It so was our first game outing. We, we went there kind of expecting something different, kind of yeah. more of a charity thing, like games for, games for peace. Yeah. So like we thought it was. Gonna be yeah, we thought it was different. for like because there's a Twitch thing, game for peace. So we thought it was that, but yeah, but it's it, pretty it, interesting. It ended up being more of a lecture um, to, about like showing people, informing them that games are can be more than just games. More than you just know. violence and... Yeah, they, they can be used at, like as a collaborative effort to educate people on different kinds of things. Yeah, they have people uh, making games for, for kids. Yeah, yeah. And just to bring light to other like games, games, for, games for patients, like VR games to get their minds Oh yeah, games. that really stood out to me. That was really cool. Uh, there's a burn victim and w- when he was getting his skin grafts, they actually put a VR headset on his head and he actually felt less pain while he was playing the game yeah. while they were doing the surgery. Yeah. That was and actually really interesting. It actually works. And yeah, that's pretty cool. That really and really that's cool. what he's going to be doing in the future. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how it should be in the future. Yeah. Um, but very interesting, uh, pe- people that were there um, were all very intellectual. <laughs> they were all very, you know. Yeah. But it, 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 there wasn't a lot of film in there. There was a lot of film in there. It was like a um, TED Talks. It was like a TED Talks. Um, but it was uh, very, very. It wasn't very. It wasn't you know, like gamers, gamers. People. It was more like trying to educate people about what games can be. What games could be. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know, man. I think games influence people. I'm gonna be honest right now. I think they. 
There's a lot of bad violence in games. Yeah, like you said, playing GTA. When you play GTA and you're driving fast, like, you, you just, yeah, like, sometimes you, you catch yourself driving a little too fast. It makes you want to drive a little bit faster, you know? Yeah. It does kind of change your mind in these little tiny ways. So, um, at the end of the lecture, most, a lot of the questions they brought up were about violence in games. And yeah. You guys seemed annoyed. Yeah, and, violence yeah questions. one of the guys, you know, oh, uh, my wife does research. Um, on, yeah, on Skyrim. Games like Skyrim, uh, killing people. <laughs> I mean, people um, it's very, you know, people in the game. It's very real. It's very real to people. Um, it's like, and the guy was just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, the guy <laughs> seemed like he was sick of the question. Like, yeah. I mean, but, it's a. That wasn't really what they were there for. What, what, we, what, what people were there for was to discuss, you know, different things about games. How games can be used to educate. How games can be used um, more than just entertainment. And and, and but here's the thing, my. So like we showed the clip on on that game, I think it's too like hard pressed. I think games like that are a little too like in your face, like change your piece. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. games like uh, <clears throat> like Papers Please, people, people put that game like crazy. Papers Please, people people love that game. I haven't tried it. I haven't it, tried it. It because it was it wasn't just it wasn't just a game that was saying something. It was a it was a game. Yeah. You know? uh, I don't think that things like these like like this work. I don't think people. Uh, I think subliminal messaging and things that are kind of like underhanded. Uh, of more, we'll, we'll go further than just straight up making a game about peace and how and you know how happened to Palestinians and, and you know things, and I think it's I think I, feel, I think it goes further when, you, when it's a little more subtle. Yeah, I just uh, I just feel like there's so many there's so many good you know that guy's trying to push a good message oh, out for there. Sure, for sure. But I just feel like it just gets so convoluted by all the other things in games, the violence and the sex. Yeah. Um, but that, Which I mean, it's that, 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 play, kind of, that kind of stuff has been around in like uh, all kinds of media, yeah, forever. Um, but it's just a weird. Yeah, topic. I feel like games. I feel like movies and music are way worse than games would yeah. ever be. Yeah, and they and they're seen by more audiences too, and they more, more, more people, and accepted a lot more. Yeah, um, but I, I think it's for games. It's more, you know, you're doing the killing, you're doing the sex, you're doing all you're that doing stuff. The sex. <laughs> you're doing the sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's even gonna be even more crazy when VR comes out. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be like right, right in your face, stabbing oh, those dude. people like this. Dude, I can't wait. VR. Do you have like a, a controller that I can like stab a guy? Yeah. Like, oh my! Actually, going into his body. Oh my God! Like, That's he's a That's sick guy. Be, he's sick. That's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> yeah, dude, in GTA, I said most of the time in GTA Five, in first person mode, is running around just stabbing people. Dude. That's okay. The, that's the funnest thing. <laughs> oh man, I have fun with those games playing. You'd already know. You already watched the episode before this. <laughs> I'm trying to get good civilian GTA. That's what everyone should strive for. <laughs> that's fun too. But yeah, too. game Challenge. for peace, guys. Game for peace. Uh, cool, cool guy. guy. Lecture. Cool guy. Yeah, we'll put some links below cool so you can check out some stuff. Yeah, go to like US, uh, the USD website and try to you know try and find that because they were they were they were filming that um, in there. But we could film yeah, it wasn't those film. Next, next time we'll just film. Come on, don't you know we're Game Press? Yeah. Dude, Come on, we're YouTube, YouTube, bro. Come right on here. now. We're game from, Press. We're from YouTube. Step okay, aside, yeah, step aside, okay, yeah, step aside. Very interesting experience, though, get, getting the pass and getting yeah, it was our, there. Yeah, it was our first outing, and yeah. there'll be many more to come, so. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. like things like this. It's, it's, it's like more uh, in depth things, interviews, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't lock down an interview today, but, um, mm -hmm. you know. Also, expect a uh, collaboration coming in soon. Uh, people with the yeah, we met some people. Met some people. Met some people at GameStop. Went to GameStop. You know, buy some games. We went to our, later. went to our, uh, you know, like a, like local. our church. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Our, Just our kidding. local school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went to our local school. You know, get some educate education. Education. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so anyway, good times, good fun. Yeah. Kind of. Crazy. Well, all right, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I think um, I, yeah. I don't know what episode this is. Do you have anything to comment on or anything at all? Maybe, maybe go try the game. Go. Game. What was the game? Yeah, was the game? it was called uh, Fight for Peace. I Fight for Peace. It came out like ten years ago. Yeah, but, um, it shouldn't still be relevant. Yeah, it was great. Another thing. It, what was the point of that lecture? I know, right? Like, I kept waiting for him to get to, to, to his point. Yeah. What was? Uh, like, he, he talked about very. He talked about very various things, but I didn't really. No, he was it was mostly about, about just him and his childhood, and yeah, the first like whole half of it was about oh here's don't you know, talk about me but what I do it was like dude I don't care what you do get the point yeah I mean and it was interesting it was definitely cool. interesting what we were talking about but but, but the, the overall topic it's like he's a cool guy dude like, oh yeah I totally. wish we could have got an interview with him yeah. honestly yeah but um, overall like what was the main point because I think I think the people that asked the questions too it's like well. Like the, what they were asking weren't. They were like, asking questions that had nothing to do nothing with the to lecture. Nothing to do with what was the lecture was about. And, yeah. and, and I don't know. 
know. It's very odd. Very odd. But took more of this pretty but soon. I, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We, we had a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, we did. So, gaming on. Yes, game. Success. Fisher Bros. Gaming. I'm not sure what episode this is. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace out.